New scene assembled. Good morning, Central, and welcome to a snowy Friday. I'm Bailey. And I'm Jordan. Well, I've been pretty excited about the snow this weekend. I've been looking forward to it, too. What are we expecting, Tyshawn and Thomas? Hey, Central Crossing, I'm Tyshawn. And I'm Thomas. And we have your weather for today. We are about to get a lot of what you've been asking for, snow. Today will be a high of 31. And a low of 26 with a little bit of sunshine later as well. Plus, there will be a 60% chance of snow tonight. Saturday, there will be a, more snow with as much as 3 inches expected. Sunday will be a cloudy with no snow. And then all next week, we're looking for looking at snow. So start wearing your PJs inside out so we can get a snow day in the first week of the new semester. That's all from us. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, guys. Let's keep hoping we get a snow day. I love snow days. Well, I skipped breakfast today. So what's for lunch, Laura and Jayana? Hi Central, I'm Laura. And I'm Jayana. Today for lunch we'll be having Bosco steaks with marinara sauce. That sounds so good. But we're also having popcorn chicken with a dinner roll and a side of mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay, well that's my favorite. I really do like school mashed potatoes. I know, there's just something about them. They're just so good. Enjoy your lunch today, Central. That's all from us. Back to you, Akers. Thanks ladies. I can't wait to grab some of that popcorn chicken. Well, we want to congratulate Captain McKay. Captain was honored last night at the Blue Jackets game. Thank you for your service, Captain. I think it's great that the Blue Jackets honor military personnel. We also want to give a shout out to Sergeant Major Bobcock and all of our other veterans in the building. Thank you for your service. Next, we have a reminder. Don't forget to keep collecting the letters Catch Me around the building. If you can get all seven letters, you get a free ticket to the Spring Musical in April. There are still more letters to be found, so find the seven letters and win your free ticket. Now let's talk about the talent show. Congratulations to everyone who auditioned this week. We know it's nerve-wracking and a little scary for some. The judges were impressed and will post a list of performers by the end of the day today. Check out in room 189 or 213 for the list. Next, let's talk about clubs and other meetings. So, we have only one thing going on tonight. The Central Crossing Chess Club meeting is today in room 209 from 3.30 to 4.30. The chess club is open to all newcomers hoping to learn the rules of chess to so plan to attend. Now let's head over to the locker room. What's happening in sports, Allie and Lamara? Good morning, Central. I'm Allie. And I'm Lamara. And we have all your sporting news. First up, we have some spring sporting news. Boys tennis will have lessons every Tuesday from 4 to 5. Please see Coach Rose if you have any questions. Now here's what's happening this week at Central. Today we have freshman boys basketball at home versus Westland High School at 4.30 p.m. JV plays at 6 and varsity is at 7.30. Also taking on the Cougars this Friday is girls basketball. JV is at 6 and Varsity is at 7.30. These ladies are traveling to Westland. These Friday night games are neon nights. We really need to put fans in the stands and show both the boys and the girls teams our support. We all know we want to crush Westland. Then on Saturday, Varsity Boys Wrestling is once again at home, this time taking on Western Brown at 10 a.m. Also competing this Saturday is boys basketball. They are traveling to Briggs for a 3.30 freshman game, a 4.30 JV game, and a 6 p.m. Varsity game. This is an easy road trip just a few miles away. The game is a whiteout. Our final team competing this Saturday is swim team. They are headed to Taze Valley in Invitational. Their meet begins at noon, not 5 p.m. as we previously reported. This is a great week to be fans in a stance for both the girls and boys sports. Enjoy it, Central. Well, once again, good luck to all our athletes. Now here's Paul, the hockey expert, to tell us about the Ohio State versus Michigan hockey game. Good morning, Central. I'm Paul. Well, tonight, there is a college hockey game between Michigan and Ohio State. Ohio State has 12 wins, 4 losses, and 4 ties. Michigan, however, has 7 wins, 8 losses, and 6 ties. As much as I would like Michigan to win, I'm sorry to say, I think that it will be a win for Ohio State. They have a better win-loss record. I will be, still be rooting for Michigan, but it won't, I won't be surprised if Michigan loses. However, it should be a fun game for you Ohio State fans like Jordan and Will. 
They, the game starts at 7.30 and will be televised on Big Ten Network. But tickets are fairly cheap and range from $5 to $15. And it's not too late to get a ticket. You can buy them online or at the door. So if you're looking for something to do, check this out. Have fun, Central. Back to you, Allie and Lamar. That sounds fun, Paul. Well, that's it from us. <laughs> Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, guys. I'm looking forward to it. As Paul already said, I'm going with my boyfriend tonight. Well, it does sound like a lot of fun. Now we have some great news. We're halfway through the school year. Plus the next two weeks are four-day weeks. That sounds so good. Next up, we have some makeup tips by Deja. For all of you, those of you on a date night this weekend, Jordan, and for those of you in the talent show, this may be helpful. Hey Central, I'm Deisha. Today I'll be showing you an easy way to get a cut crease. If you have absolutely no clue what that is, here's an example. A cut crease is a makeup technique used to define the crease by cutting it with concealer or a contrasting eyeshadow with very little blend. Now let's get right into the tip. To start, you want to blend eyeshadow into your crease and lightly bring it onto your lid. Next, you want to take concealer and a flat concealer brush. Take concealer and apply very little to the tip of the brush. After you've done that, take your brush and apply the concealer to your lash line. After you've done that, look up. Your crease will then be marked and ready to be cut. Apply a bit more concealer to your brush and cut your crease by applying the concealer to the lid between the two marks you've made. You can stop the concealer application in the center of your lid for what they call a half cut crease or keep on going for the full on effect. Finally, you can complete your cut crease by setting it with a powder or another eyeshadow. Apply any final touches such as false lashes or mascara or you know that glitter liner I got going on and you have your cut crease. I hope you found this tip helpful. That's it for me. Back to you anchors. Enjoy trying something new. The cut crease looks good. Well, that's it for today. See you Monday Central. Have a fantastic Friday. And a fun and safe weekend. And welcome to us. Did I start too early? Yeah. <laughs> Plus the next two weeks... Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. Wait, you want to just... That was wrong. Date night this week. Oh my god, I cannot. <laughs> Plus you said the next... Oh, here's sporting news. First up, we have some spring sporting news. <laughs> Can I restart? <laughs> hey, oh, that's not supposed to be. <laughs> it was us. I'm Laura. Oh. Come on! Plus there will be a 60%... 